channel my name is Dominique Utley I'm here with another makeup tutorial today if you're new to my channel I want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video I hope you find this video useful if you do make sure you give me a big old thumbs up and give me a, a give me leave me a comment down below I love reading comments just let me know if you enjoyed the video um if you saw anything I could improve on in the video let me know down below and also subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed so you will never miss another upload from me but this look that I did today I am really 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 loving it took me forever I've been sitting here since three o'clock now it is 4 58 and that's two hours it took me two hours to do this freaking look you guys I have been struggling so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you do give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video hello so to begin this look I'm taking this shade and applying it to my eye as the transition color I'm using a BH cosmetics big fluffy blending brush to blend this transition color in next I'm going to take another shade out of the same palette it's a bluish grayish color and I'm blending this color into my crease area taking it slightly above my crease and I'm just continuing to build on this color and blend it out with the same transition color that I used first I am just taking the same brush and just blending some more of that transition color in just to diffuse the line and now I'm going to take my hard candy camouflage concealer it's a very hard duty concealer I really love this concealer and I'm going to apply this concealer using a concealer brush. I got this out of one of my Ipsy bags. And this is just going to help the eyeshadow that I place on my eyes stand out just a little bit more. It's a great tip if you put concealer on your eyes. If you don't have like an eyeshadow base, it really helps the eyeshadow stand out more. Now I'm going to take this shimmery shade out of the Morphe 35K palette and I'm putting it in the inner portion of my lid area and as you can see I'm just taking it to the middle. Now I'm going to place this shade on the outer area of my lid and this is just going to darken that outer portion up a little bit and I'm just blending this color out. Now I'm going to take this darker grayish shimmery color as you can see it has glitter in it and I'm going to carve out my crease area and this is just like a little definer brush by e.l.f. Now I'm taking a little definer blending brush and blending that color out and making sure that there are no harsh lines. I am going to bring this color down to deepen that outer V area as you can see I'm making it look like a little cat eye a little bit and I'm just going to make those two lines connect right there like I'm doing and I'm just going to continue to blend 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 that is really the key to doing makeup is blending now I'm taking these same brushes that I used to apply the shades on my lid and just applying a little bit more because when I blend it the um, crease color right here and uh, some of the colors faded away a little bit with that same transition color I'm just blending some more in and now I'm taking this shade right here is a middle shade for the shade that I placed in my crease area in my transition color and I'm placing it in between these two colors to fuse that line between the transition color and my crease color if you're understanding what I'm saying it's good to find a color that's in between those two colors because it really helps to diffuse that line. So I'm just going to continue to blend, blend, blend. This is a Sigma E25 brush, one of my favorite blending brushes. It does an amazing job. After blending that out, I'm going to move on to my eyeliner. The eyeliner that I'm using today is by Wet n Wild. It is the H2O proof 
eyeliner and I think it was only $2.99 from Walgreens very affordable and I'm just doing a little line I'm taking my makeup forever mascara and I'm going to go ahead and coat my lashes before I apply any eyelashes after that I am going to apply my lashes and what well, actually I haven't applied my lashes yet but I'm taking my makeup forever step one primer and just applying it to my face I got this little sample from Sephora now I'm taking my Scandinavia finishing spray and applying it to my Real Techniques foundation brush and this is just going to help the foundation that I apply blend out well and the foundation that I'm using today is my makeup forever HD foundation I really love this foundation it really matches my skin complexion well as you can see in the camera it's blending out really 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 well and I love this brush I mean it's been one of my favorite foundation brushes when I use a brush most of the time I'm using my beauty blender and as you can see I am going to go in with my beauty blender and just buff everything out and make sure everything is set in seamlessly I want everything to be blended well now I'm going to take my LA girl pro concealer and I am just going to highlight and conceal under my eyes as you can see I'm taking it under my eyes making a triangle and I'm also going to take it down the bridge of my nose my forehead cupid's bow and my chin area now I'm just taking a damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend this concealer out you want to make sure you're really really blending this concealer out out before you set it with any powder because you don't want it to look patchy you want to make sure everything is even so with this step you want to always just take your time take your time and now I'm just blending it out in my cupid's bow area and next I'm going to blend out my chin area and after that I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush because it still has a little foundation on it and if you can see that harsh line where my foundation and concealer meets I'm just blending that out and now I'm going to contour I'm using a concealer to contour today this is the color beautiful blonde beautiful bronze and I'm just carving out the hollows of my cheeks I'm also going to do my forehead and take it down the bridges of my nose after that I am going to blend it out off camera now I'm just going to set it with my NYC powder it will be listed down below in the description box and I'm also going to take it underneath my contour and that's just to highlight my contour just a little bit more to set my contour, I'm taking my bronzer from CoverGirl. This is the shade 110, and I am just going over everywhere I contour just to make it stand out and blend in just a little bit more. And the brush that I'm using is from e.l.f. It's um, a actual contour brush. I love that it has like a little edge on it, a little point at the end. Now I'm taking my lock my Milani blush this is the shade 02 and I'm just applying it to my cheeks this has been one of my favorite blushes for the moment I've really been loving it now I'm going to go in under my eyes and take the color that I placed in my crease area and I'm just going to place it under my eyes under my lash line just to smoke this look out a little bit and as you can see I've applied my lashes now with this gold color, I am going to place it in the inner corners of my eyes just to give me a little highlight in the inner corners. After that, I'm going to highlight my face, honey. Yes, this is my favorite part because it gives me that glow. I love to have a beautiful glow when I do my makeup. Like, oh, I love a glow. So I'm taking it down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow. I'm also going to put it on my chin, my forehead, above my eyebrows. Honey, when I love to glow, I love to glow. Now I'm taking my mascara, the same mascara I used earlier, and just applying it to my lower lash line. The last step 
well actually not the last step but the second to last step to complete this look I'm taking my NARS um, lipstick this is just like a lip crayon and I used it for the outer part of my lips and now I'm taking Stoplight Red from um, uh, what is that Wet n Wild and I'm just blending it all together now to clean up my lipstick I'm just taking my concealer and I am just cleaning up that area but I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you did give me a big old thumbs up subscribe to my channel please so you will never miss another upload from me and leave me a comment down below I will see you guys in my next tutorial thank you and have a wonderful day